Hi Ada, I have your document here that you are working on. So I'm op opening it up right now. And from what I see on your on master page, um, you were able to change the margins around um, all the sides as indicated by this um, purple box or purple line. Uh, but the thing is, this this blue, this frame right here, if you click on it, um, the handle is overlapping uh, the margin on the right side. So you just need to pull this in to line up with the mar the page margin so that it fits uh, and it's where you want it to be. So this is the master page. Um, I went there by going to pages and then clicking here on a master. And this change should be applied to all of the pages. So when I go to page one, as you can see, the um, the text frame lined up on the right side. But unfortunately, on the top and bottom, it didn't tick. So we just need to adjust it to line up. And you can see it lines up if you see the green line. So you know that it lines up with the margin. And then here, we also need to move this in and now you'll see that um, maybe this little line here should be on the first page right so all you need to do is just go to the type tool or click on the type tool and then click here and just backspace so that this text is on the previous page and then here with this text, you can move it down or up by just hitting the enter button. And um, to go back to resizing the frame, just go back to click on the selection tool and click on this frame and just pull it in. Unfortunately, I did not. I did a lot of research online, and although um, some people have this same problem, uh, there hasn't been really a, you know, a quick fix to it. Um, most of them suggested to change the master page, but we've already done that. Um, and so for this page, page four, I think you talked about this in the email. Um, I see that there were extra boxes made, so I just want to delete that for now. Just click on a box and hit the delete key. Um, there are a few extra here. And then I think this is the main frame for the text. So I'm just going to line it up with the... the purple line so that it lines up there you go and the text inside is not where it should be so I just go, went clicked on the type tool and then click inside the text and I'm just gonna put it up okay so what we did was just we just moved the text frames to line up with the new margins and fix the images um, the way that you want it. Just move it around like this, like so. And um, yeah, that's um. And then you had a problem with this page which is page 5 you just go to pages make sure you're under essentials here essentials and then you will see this um, section here for pages 
just double click on the page that you want to delete double click on it make sure it's this page that you're looking at, at and just hit the trash can icon and that will delete it and now your page 5 is the one pre, um, after it uh, the one that originally followed the original page 5 so as you can see here um, the text here it, there are still space here to maybe put some this part of the text in here so you can just click on this type tool and then click on the beginning of the text in this area and then hit the backspace key and so it goes over to this part and then it continues over here now again in this part I'll switch to the selection tool and then push this text frame over here um, and the reason that I found out why it, this specific page and the other pages actually are not following the master page is because if you move this frame out and then you click on this frame there's an this is the original text box or text frame so there's another text frame on here if you go to layers which is right here you will see that there are two layers on this page so this is the first layer which is this one so when you click on a text frame and this little box here is blue it means this is what this is the layer that you are clicking on and when you click over here then this is the layer that you're clicking on and in this layer it it contains as its name it contains the first line on this paragraph um, so what you can do is um, just delete this text frame and just hit the delete button to delete that text frame and then put this one back over there and I found out this was the case in most other um, pages they actually have two layers and that's why it's not following the the margin or the yeah the new margins that we set on the master page um, and I know this is kind of a nuisance to try to do them over again but um, I am yet to find a quicker way of doing this I've been reading online but unfortunately I didn't find anything uh, any specific solution to this specific problem so um, right now I'm just adjusting all these other pages and um, I actually found after doing this a few times that not all the pages did this there were actually a few pages that followed the master page and did not have an extra text frame so I really honestly have no idea how this happened so I'm just adjusting and if you see this page here um, the the text here is not really centered on the page so you just you can just again click on this type tool and click on the the part of the text and then you can hit backspace so that it's um, higher on the page okay and then just continue to align it up and then you had a question about uh, page pages six and seven pages six and seven to add uh, margins on top 
of this specific page. Um, so let me just go to 6 and 7. This page 6 now. Um, it might have changed because we deleted um, that one page. So I'm not sure which page we're talking about. Maybe this one? Um, not really sure. So if you want to change the inner margin, um, the inner margin of this text frame, just right click on it, go to text frame options, and you can um, insert a space on the top and just put it uh, whatever value you want, like so. So, and um, just hit OK to apply your change. Um, so, yeah, that's you can do that for any all the text frames that you want. Um, so, yeah, if you remember what I said about object styles, maybe if you want all text frames to have the same the same um, properties or the same spacing uh, you can actually go to window um, styles object styles and then you can add an object style maybe you can rename it sorry just cancel out of that just Double click on here and you can name this object um, okay and then okay so in triumph style you can go here under text frame general options and put some spacing um, settings here on the top like so and on the bottom you can set it for that and then just hit OK and so you have um, a setting for the top and bottom and every time you want to apply this um, this uh, setting to another text frame like this one you can just go back to object styles and see click on the um, object style that we just made click on triumph style and it will apply it for you so the same here you can click on triumph style just like so so I hope this helps um, I know you said you had a lot of questions so just let me know if you have any other questions I'm comfortable answering it in video because I really could show you. As for the Skype um, call, uh, I'll email you my schedule um, so we can set up, set it up um, at the time where we are both available. So thanks.